all right so i got a question about um, a student uh, asking whether and how he should approach uh, a professor and uh, ask him or her uh, about potential opportunity of phd in his or her research group so this is a very classic question so we all who are interested in doing phd and further research we ask uh, our potential uh, researcher and professor to know whether they has uh, they have any funding and we, we want to join in his or her group and so on so the, th the main thing here is that uh, the question uh, he asked is that how he should uh, approach uh, or sort of write this email so of course uh, to write an email you should first briefly introduce about about you very like one or two line and then uh, directly uh, write about your interest that why you want to join uh, in his or her research group so this is a very crucial point like uh, you should not be vague about at this point right so before uh, writing to any professor you must uh, read some of his or her research article uh, he has or she has published in recent years or you can look at the previous years uh, uh, but the thing is uh, not only read but you have to identify some uh, gaps in that research and and your thought on how you can uh, fill those gap or what could be a potential research further research uh, direction from what he or she has done in past or or what he or she is doing uh, very recently so if you know or don't know that there is something called google scholar uh, where more or less every researcher has an i uh, account and you can see all the research paper he or she has published uh, over the uh, over the last few years or recent years if if the professor does not have a uh, google scholar and if you are unsure about what i mean if you cannot find his or her research uh, articles then you can directly ask uh, in a brief email fast that he want to join his uh, or her research group or under his supervision and then and uh, where you can find all of his or her research articles then the professor might give you some link where uh, you will get uh, get to see all the papers uh, on the research he or she has published mm. so, and also you can ask uh, what type of research uh, informal you can ask what type of research or in what direction he or she is uh, going to do now and if he has she has any research uh, funding available at that moment right so the main point i want to highlight here is that there has to be a match uh, not only match a very good match uh, about your research uh, interest and the professor's research interest uh, at the, at present what he or she they want to do so this is the main point so if you can read some of his or research or her research articles and you can identify some gaps and you can write few lines about uh, what you think about some problem then it is a very very uh, impressive uh, that that the professor will think uh, that the student is not sort of uh, wasting his time uh, because professors get lots of email uh, from all over the world right uh, because everyone mm, interested to join one, one some at some some professors right so um, but if you can if you are genuinely interested then you will definitely read uh, some of his or her research articles and you will have some understanding you will have some background uh, uh, and you will get to know what uh, that professor is going doing a research so in that case it, it, things are very transparent and uh, it's very straightforward like if, if if he or she wants to do a and if you wants to do b then that's not a match right so uh, that's why i'm saying that uh, 
the main thing is you should read uh, some of the research paper and identify some problem gaps and try to um, line write few lines in that email that that i have read this this paper or this particular paper where you have tried to do these things this way then i have a better idea to do this way i mean i'm not saying that you completely solve uh, your uh, that problem but at least some rough idea if you can give uh, so that um, he will be uh, definitely um, identifying that no this student is really thinking this uh, this topic is genuinely uh, genuinely um, in good direction and genuine uh, uh, with a genuine interest so in that case he will be happy to reply and if he had has uh, if he or she has funding then he will uh, definitely write um, they, they definitely ask you to apply formally in in the university phd uh, a phd sort of a program and when you apply to that phd program formally then you can write this particular professor's name as your uh, potential supervisor as you have already initiate um, informally talked with this professor and the professor has asked you to apply then things will be uh, very much positive uh, with like uh, 90 i mean good possibility of you you getting the position but if you send random email about uh, to random people and uh, uh, write vague uh, things then 99 percent chance that you will not get reply from this professor and uh, and nothing um, positive will is going to happen so um, and the another thing is uh, generally uh, in the context of ireland uh, there are like um, uh, as I told in many of the previous videos that PhD uh, are sort of uh, regarded as some sort of job vacancy. So um, they are published, they are advertised in the university job vacancy website. So in some cases, I mean most of the cases, the PhD project, I mean the problem and the uh, is sort of uh, is uh, uh, previ uh, I mean previously fixed. So you do not have to write the problem and so on. So the problem is fixed, then there will be some background uh, to attack that problem. And the project outline is also sort of defined. The PhD is like four years. So how a PhD student will tackle uh, that PhD problem for the four years, that highlight is that, um, uh, that outline is also sort of uh, uh, defined so and then the professor uh, the university is uh, advertising uh, that phd position is available with funding and with the high under some particular professor then you can apply if you think that that particular phd project is very much interested you are doing you are doing you are you are interested in doing but in in another case where you and the professor together will write that phd uh, problem as well as the four years uh, outline how you are step by step going to solve that uh, phd sort of problem in that case there is something called iris research council you can apply uh, for the scholarship so but rest of the cases there are already the phd project is predefined and then they're asking for they are ask, they are looking for um, phd students whose background and interest match very closely to that particular phd project so so long story short if you are writing some professor then uh, about opportunity uh, funding opportunity and phd opportunity within he, within this within his or her group research group then read some uh, research article and genuinely uh, uh, with some genuine interest show some genuine interest uh, in his or her research uh, areas and highlight some problem 
and uh, write an email. Otherwise, it is very difficult to get a reply, even get a reply from that professor. And another chance is that the PhD vacancy, look at, look at the job vacancy websites of the universities, which I have told many times in all many of my previous videos. And then you apply if you think that if you are interested in solving, in, interested in that particular PhD position. And remember that those positions are already funded. So you do not need to apply for scholarship separately. So that's it. Thank you. I'll try to give a uh, email uh, template uh, in the video description of this video. Description of this video. Thank you.